Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Today, we are taking a look at another new character, one that we unlocked in the most recent Grand Prix. It is Hasty. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, he's a very interesting character. I have a lot to say, say about him, but I also want to check out his classic character thing um, right here, Drift. Uh, he is, I guess, classically he's a drift, but which is actually what I enjoy the most. So he's a really interesting character because he's technically not existed in the Crash Bandicoot universe ever before, but now he does. So we'll get into that once we get into the Lost Cup. I feel like he's sort of the lost character as well. So having him in the Lost Cup seems pretty fitting. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so yeah, let's get started with Hasty and the Wumpa. He's got dibs on that trophy. I love his personality so far, because that's what's very interesting about Hasty. One thing, he is a reindeer, which is very fitting with the Holiday Tour. He was the Grand Prix reward character, and wow, oh, that got me, wow, okay. But he just has like a cool personality, which is you know very interesting because he never really had one before because he was never a real character. So the, the idea with Hasty is that at some point or another, the one of the original artists for the original Crash Team Racing on the PlayStation 1 released some concept art for Crash Team Racing. And along with it was a artwork for a character we'd never seen before. It was this hippo looking character that definitely fit the art style for Crash Team Racing, but we had never heard about him before. And I think that maybe somewhere like his name was mentioned, a lot of people called him Fasty, not Hasty. Um, and I don't know if that was just a community developed name or if there was actually some writing that suggested his name was Fasty. Regardless, what ended up happening with him isn't that he was a cut character, but instead it was a concept art for a different project that artist had for like a different company that just sort of looked similar, I suppose, and just got mixed in. So Fasty was never intended for Crash Team Racing, it seems. As far as I've been able to read into this, people have believed otherwise that he was intended for CTR, but it's definitely much more likely, um, especially since I think the artist himself confirmed it, um, that it was for some other company, it was just some concept art for a design they were working on. And that makes a lot of sense on why they couldn't just bring Fasty to the game here, because if it was concept art for a different company, then there's probably a lot of legal you know, requirements there, copyright and stuff. So they couldn't just bring a character from a different company into the game like that, especially if it was not even a, like a fully developed thing. And it would just make not, not too much sense. So it looks like what they did is they made a very, you know, oh my gosh, it happened again. A very holiday themed version of Fasty. That's not quite a hippo, but he has like the same body shape and the same, I guess, perceived um, personality because he was just a drawing. Um, but I definitely think that Fasty would have sounded like this for sure. He had the same like aviation type jacket. And he just looked overall really cool. So I'm glad they were able to get that like level of spirit from that one drawing and make it into a full fledged character. I feel like it was really creative of them to be able to pull that off. Edge is really, really cool. Oh no. Whoop. There we go. So we finished this first lap pretty well. I think I'm on medium difficulty. Maybe I should have done hard. But anyways. I just, I love him so much. He has such an interesting story because he was the character that never truly was, but now he is. <laughs> like, isn't that different? Isn't that interesting? I think so. So I really like him. I think he was a fantastic addition and probably will always be the most obscure character in this game. I don't see how they could get more obscure than a character that never truly existed. All right, now we're doing Oxide Station. Should be fun. I love this one so much. Just the art to it. Honestly, it's not always my favorite driving experience, but it looks cool, you know? All right. But I don't know if he has any costumes. We'll have to take a look at that. I didn't look before. But of course, we've been playing him a little bit to get some of the Grand Prix challenges done. Ooh, nice. Didn't get to do too much, but it took out a couple racers. But, like I was saying before, I forget what I was saying before. But yeah, we were playing him a little bit, of course, in the last few episodes because I've been earning up some Grand Prix rewards with him. Um, but now that we have him, you know, we can start looking at his other costumes and stuff and, you know, doing that. After we do this cup, of course, we'll play a little bit online. And the showcases don't stop here. Of course, I usually save the Grand Prix specific character as the last character, all the new set of characters to showcase, but I haven't done the two other two coming up, which will be Chick and Stu will both be getting their own episode. It just, man, what a great Grand Prix. Of course, a new Grand Prix will be coming up, and I think, as of recording this, like two weeks, but it might be a bit shorter when this video finally goes out. Oh, I did pretty good there. Nice, okay, let's keep this blue boost going. 
Okay, oh, I was supposed to hit that, that was bad. But I made it pretty far there, farther than I usually do, so that's good. But it would be really cool now, moving forward, if, like how interesting would it be if it went full circle and one day, Hasty is in like a, a Crash Bandicoot game. <laughs> like I, I really hope that eventually, at some point, a team or another works on a new Crash game, we don't just get remakes. And it'd be cool to see some of these more obscure and technically unofficial characters get added to that game. Because at this point, it just, it's so impressive how many characters are in this game. Because uh, the best thing to compare it to, in my, in my mind, is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And it nearly has as many characters as that game does. And on top of that, I feel like the character roster is a bit more diverse and interesting. Not to say anything about him, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I love that game because I've, I've played it a bunch. You've seen that. But... Uh, oh boy. Oh my gosh, can I do it? Ah, oh, not quite. Hard to see over that hill if I'm gonna be able to hit the wall or not. But still pretty good, for sure. Oh no, that was a little awkward. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It goes better than hypersonic. <laughs> is that a diss on Sonic the Hedgehog, or is there some kind of reference there? I'm not really... I don't know. They really should make him like a backstory though. Because he's just sort of a character that exists now. <laughs> with not really too much to his name beyond. What did he say? Something about an inner cell? I don't know what he's talking about. We really need a backstory for him. I mean, not too many Crash Bandicoot characters really have a developed backstory to begin with. But I feel like at least something, you know, would be cool. It's always fun to imagine what he would look like in the original CTR. That's what I sort of did with the uh, cart combo, of course. I, I felt like this, uh, it's like a light brownish tan for his cart color, and I felt like that makes sense because he, you know, he's a moose. So he's around a lot of wood, so I didn't want to do a dark brown just because I don't think I had one. In regards, I think the light tan and then the, sort of the brownish bronze pipes. I feel like that made a good color combo for him. It also works well with like his darker gray jacket. He's got a prize, and the green pants. I just think it looks cool, and yeah. <laughs> Challenge completed, what did we get? Ooh, Power Slide Master, not too bad. We're getting close to a new color. Let's move to the next race, we're halfway done. Okay, next up is the Twilight Tour. I also wanted to clear something up. I had gotten the Lost Cup and the Bonus Cup confused in a previous episode. I had thought that there was no Lost Cup, there was just a Bonus Cup, and that I guess it would change out the tracks every once in a while. I was wrong, there's two new cups that have been added since the launch of the game, both the Lost and the Bonus Cup that add tracks had been just not in cups previously. Okay, well I guess I'm not getting the shortcut there. That wasn't the best, but that's all right. We'll just keep moving for now. Whoop, there we go. Not bad. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta be careful. But yeah, I really am interested to, interested in how they're gonna top themselves in 2020. Like, I really don't see how they could with how many like marquee characters they have added in this year, just even after just the game launch. Of course, the original characters were great and everything. Oh no. Um, oh man, I got really sloppy there. Gotta try harder. I don't know why I put that TNT there, because chances are I'm gonna be doing well next lap and run right into that thing. Gonna be my own undoing. There we go. Okay, so let's pick up the pace a little bit. I mean, we're already pretty far ahead of our opponents, but... There we go, I got the shortcut this time. Let me go wide so that I can get some extra Wampa Fruit. Not bad. Also, nobody hit my potion over here. I'm really making things cluttered. So hopefully somebody hits it or I'm gonna end up hitting it myself. Whoop. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. I feel like he'd be a really good fit for an enemy in the Crash 3 levels um, where he's riding a plane. No, ah, darn. But another blue boost up this way. Let's make the most of it. Okay, it didn't go away. No, it did, darn. Yeah, unless you really build up a lot of speed and do a lot of drifting before hitting a blue boost, it usually goes away pretty quickly. Let's throw that down. So our final lap, let's, ah, uh, I was gonna literally say, make the most of it. I guess that shortcut's a little too difficult for me right now. 
what what do you mean by hypersonic? Like I can only imagine every time he says that, I think of like supersonic. Like I get hypersonic speed. But at the same time, it just it just seems like a weird thing to say. I don't know. I mean, we don't have too much to worry about. I'm like so far ahead of the competition, but I'm always trying to best myself. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was my potion too. Maybe not, though. there's potions all over the place here. Okay, that should be much better. In terms of keeping this blue boost, can I keep it to the end of the lap? That would make me happy. And yes, I can. Oh, I looked like I was about to get the clock. Probably not, it's probably still rolling for the item there. But anyways, three wins so far, one more win to go. Let's see what we get. All right, final race of this cup. Things have been going pretty well. After this, we'll take it online. Let's see how we do. Because this track can be tough, but it's also one of my favorites. It's a lot of fun. And whoop, can I make it? Yes, I can, but I lose my blue boost in the act of that weird. Usually that's not a place I'd lose it. Maybe I hit the wall there a little bit. Could be possible. Oh, let's use the speed boost. Maybe I should have saved that. Probably would have been a better idea. Let's hope that hits somebody. Let's hope that hits somebody. Because if not, I'm gonna be running into it next lap. Because that's sort of the problem with taking the best lines and throwing the, the items on them uh, in single player, is that you might end up just running into them because sometimes the computers just don't take those. I definitely wanna try to Get good practice in here for continuing the blue boost throughout as much of the lap as possible. There we go. There was a rocket going for me, but it gave up. There we go. Very nice. So try this again. Excellent, that's what we're looking for. Why did I put that there? I am gonna be the one who runs into it. Why do I gotta do that every single time? Wow, I went over that item. Looks like my potion here is gone. I'm gonna be careful for this one, because I really do want to, okay, it looks like it is gone now. I really wanna keep this blue boost for this entire lap if I can manage. Because so I went into this lap with it. Oh man, gotta be careful for this part though. <laughs> ah, ah, it's very tight for how fast we're going for blue boost. Oh man, oh man. Ah, okay, good enough though, good enough. <laughs> we're back at it right now, so it's fine. No, but it's gone, darn. That really sinks. We're going so well there. If I kept it, I probably could have ended up lapping the competition. That's it. Jump for it. Not bad. Be careful, my own potion I did. Somehow I made it there. Maybe I should go a different way. That was a mistake. I somehow kept it though. I somehow, against all odds. Ah, oh, but it's gone. I definitely wasn't drifting enough there, at least making some kind of boost. But you know what, I still did good. I'm not unhappy with our performance this race. That's for sure. Got it. All right, so we're doing pretty good here. I'm gonna throw down this nitro and get a quick finish to this race. No problem. So our cup for today was good. Hopefully we're at least closer to unlocking uh, new stuff for Hasty here. We'll get 90 more points, that's always good to see. And let's continue and see his little trophy dance. All right, well he's flexing, <laughs> he's stretching. He's doing all sorts of stuff. Who's that character at the right? I don't even know. Is that Papu Papu? Maybe? I don't know. I've not seen that outfit before. But anyways, he is just posing. <laughs> Jamming out and everything. All right, well he's so charismatic, I love him so much. So while we're waiting for a match online, I wanna go ahead and take a look at Hasty's different things. So we have Stag Hasty, that's cool, so he looks like a stag. We get Sweet Tooth Hasty, very cotton candy-ish, sprinkle pants, I like it. Albino Hasty, and then finally his legendary skin, the Blizzard Rider Hasty. I like that one. Yeah, I like the CTR on the sleeve, the helmet's really cool. Wow, I like that one. No, wait, no, I'm not done. Um, so at the very least, we're gonna go ahead and do the 5% bonus for that. And when it comes to the carts and everything, honestly, as long as it looks good. Oh, actually, this gives a 10% bonus? 
Oh, and this gives a 10% bonus, okay. Mark of Champions. Um, on top of that, do we have a 10% wheels? Yes, we do. This looks really silly. Um, is there anything more than 5% for the paint? Not looking like it, so we'll do this. Okay, that's a lot more fitting, at the least. And when, the, when it comes to the stickers, there should be at least a couple 5% bonuses. Let's just do the cupcake. Very pink, riding in style, I guess. <laughs> okay. I don't have too much time to customize things, so I'm just trying to make the most of it. I do wanna see what's new, though. I don't know what was new that I was trying to mark there. But anyways, that should give us some decent bonuses to our Nitro. So let's go to Polar Pass. Pretty fitting for Hasty, I think, because he's a moose, you know? <laughs> let's go. Okay, so Polar Pass it is. I think that a lot of the racers we're racing against here, like only half of them are real. Other half are uh, robots, so hopefully we do well and we get a good start. I love the, the candy cane like drag that the wheels have. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see if it truly is better than Hypersonic. I put down that red potion. Maybe somebody will hit it, maybe not. Ah, oh, man, I just barely missed that. Let's see if they're gonna do the shortcut. The shortcut I can never pull off that I definitely need to practice, but oh, they didn't. It just, it really isn't worth the risk online until I practice it. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm gonna take this Wumpa Fruit just because I don't want anyone else behind me to take it. So, so far, I am comfortably in the lead. I want to keep it that way so this uh, shield is perfect. Of course, the blue one stays out forever. Oh, whoa, that was a major jump. So I need to be careful here if I actually want to keep that blue boost because it's very easy to jump over that pad. Excellent. Only problem I got to be worried about here is that, I forget her name, but she's right behind me. Ah, oh, I tried. I feel like I did pretty well getting through that though. Now I'm starting to lose some speed. So let's try to fix that by not racing badly. Got it, got it. Oh, she did it, she pulled it off! Oh man, good for you, but also not good for me. All I can do is hope that she gets hit by the, one of these guys. Oh, that is unfortunate. She had to take it wide to dodge them. and I didn't. I was, you know, luckily I didn't have to be, oh no, I missed it. See, that's what you gotta be really careful of. Um, but I didn't even have to worry about it because I have the shield and it's gone, but that's fine. I'm gonna throw that backwards so that I can hopefully get another item here. Okay, do that, hopefully she hits it, because if she lands that shortcut again, I just don't know what my chances are of actually hoo, hoo, being able to catch up. So far, it seems like she's proven that it's worth the risk at times, but she fell. Yikes. I mean, it's a high risk, high reward kind of thing, right? She went for it again and fell again. That's unfortunate. Okay. Just trying to keep my cool going through this. I mean, I have the win, basically. Yeah, I try to jump at the right time, but it's very awkward to pull that off consistently. Anyways, almost caught up to some people. Wow, great race for sure. You're kind of prize. I wonder if she would have been able to keep up with me if she didn't play the risky jumps and, and just, you know, tried to keep her blue boost throughout the race. Maybe? That second lap really wasn't too bad. 54 seconds. Okay. We have such a pink cart. I like it. This race is gonna end in 10 seconds. I'm glad we were able to start our online adventures in today's episode with a win. I don't know if that'll continue. I need to see how many wins we have left for the rest of Hasty's costumes, because sometimes it's very demanding. It's like win 30 times. It's just like, geez. But we get 310 points, 388 for Crepe Baker. Okay, so we're about to get a new paint job for our cars in silver tier. That will be great. Okay, now we're at Mystery Caves. This one was a much fuller lobby. It took me forever to find it, though. It's always a downside of playing online, but hey, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully another win, but you never know. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> the only time I actually count it down. Okay, whoa, not bad. But since I haven't asked you guys yet, I don't think. What are your thoughts on Hasty? Do you think he is a good rendition of what most people thought of Fasty? Do you think maybe they could have done better? I definitely think he's really cool. I think they did a great job visualizing a character that 
is, you know, um, once again, doesn't truly exist in the way that we thought he did. Okay. So let's go ahead and throw that out, see if that catches up with him. It won't. We're not too far behind you, though, so if we can just keep on making the right moves, I think we'll be able to catch up. I'm gonna go this way and try to grab that item box. Okay, I'm gonna get you. This guy hasn't even gotten started. Watch it! Oh, man, that almost had gotten me. So the question is, is this a good idea? Not too bad, not too bad, I'm a little closer. Oh, you're in trouble now, buddy. Get an item box. Oh gosh, oh, but I hit the, whoa, the mess up of a century. That was bad, that was real bad, super unfortunate. Let's just get back to it. Hope that maybe he makes a mistake along the line. Probably shouldn't have tried to throw out that rocket. Should have just waited for a better opportunity. Whoa. I really don't need these. Let's get something better. Yes! Uh, but not so good. <laughs> Come on! Oh, he was going for it that time too. Because you could drift through that, but it's very risky. But he took it that time as well, so I just not really quite beating him. Okay. So second place is still good though. I'm not too upset by it, but I definitely feel bad for the mess up. Especially since this is one of my favorite tracks. Always worse when you mess up on a track you really like. But hey, second place is great. I'm really far ahead of third place, so I should be fine. And he's about to cross the finish line. I mean, I sort of closed the distance a little bit, but not enough. Oh well. Yeah, he got to four seconds ahead of me. So who knows, maybe if I didn't even run into the wall there, maybe I still wouldn't have been able to catch up. But I did get pretty close when I took that shortcut on the second lap, it was fun. All right, well, there's that going on. That last lap was my fastest as well. So pretty good stuff. Actually, the first and second lap had the same exact time. Oh, the odds are of that. Anyways, that was another great race. We're gonna move on to the next one now. Okay, so Hyperspaceway. As long as I keep getting the top three, I'll be pretty happy with it. So let's see how things go this time. All right, and got it. Try to press harder on that pedal, I'm trying. Whoop. Okay, so let's be careful about this, you don't wanna land in the center. Okay, oh, I was supposed to go this way, and I was able to. Ah, this jump always scares me, we do run out of blue boost in the middle of it. It's possible to not do that, but it ain't easy. But we're in the lead, no! Who just passed me, it's the same side as last time. You get back here, you're too good at the game. There we go, I got an item. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, I'm messing up so bad. Come on, we can catch up to him. I know we can. Maybe if I actually got the blue boost, but now he is gone. See ya, buddy. I mean, the good thing is that we are also ahead of the competition by a good amount. We're definitely not racing bad, but there is definitely a ton of room for improvement. Let's do a super jump here, come on. No, I ran out of the blue boost again. It doesn't matter too much, because we're about to get it again. Probably should have tried for the Wumpa Fruit there. Whoa. Okay, thank goodness I had a shield. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, didn't get hit. I'm catching up to him, I'm coming for you, Oxide. See ya, see ya at the finish line. Oh, there it goes though. All right, throw that backwards and hope it hits him. I don't think it hit him. I don't even know. The map is like really hard to refer to in this track. Oh, I ran out of the blue boost again. He is so much better at keeping it than I am. Don't do it, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, keep going, come on, come on. Throw that down. Ah, uh, couldn't get the Wampa Fruit. I wasn't even gonna keep that, like really? <laughs> oh man, so he's got me this time. Oh man, I almost fell to my doom there. Don't know if this is the best idea. Okay, I did it. You have to really be aware of where you're trying to land when you don't have the blue boost on that part specifically. So it looks like he's getting ahead of me. Oh yeah, he's way far. He is gone. So I, like, I, I was so close to catching up to him. I mean, I, I called up to him. I got ahead of him. But then he just followed through again. He is a tough racer. That's still cool though. Always good to have some tough competition. Gives me something to aspire to. 
I definitely could have done better on that race. <laughs> he beat me by 14 seconds. That is insane. But still, we were very far ahead of the competition. Yeah, my one lap time there, 41.94. A whole 10 seconds better than the other two laps. Once again, the first lap and the third lap are the same time. What is going on? That is crazy. That happened not once, but twice, where I have two laps at the same exact time. Anyways, there is gonna be our paint for the car, and the silver tier is going to be the candy cone sparkle. Very nice. Okay, so for the last race in today's episode, we're doing Meteor Gorge. If I could get first or second, I mean, that's what we did three times in a row, first, second, and second. Those are still really good placements. I'm happy with them. We'll see what goes on this time. And then we're gonna go to the, the uh, not the Grand Prix, the pit stop, and, of course, spend some coins. So no blue boost to leverage in this track. It's all gonna be pure racing skill. We'll see how that goes for me. <laughs> I don't know if it'll go too well. So far, not too bad, I'm keeping up. If I run into your thing, okay, it looks like he actually ran into the person in front of both of us. Okay, I am drifting the wrong way. Oh, I didn't quite get that, that's a shame. Ah, oh, I hit the pipe. Oh, but I got the potion out right where I need it. That's gonna be good. So I'm finishing the first lap in the lead, but I am missing my item. But now I have 10 Wumpa Fruit, so the next time I do get an item, hopefully it'll be, you know, a good one. If I could just get, okay, right here. Eh, I'll use it. Always good to cut the angle, like that, to cut the turn at that angle. Nobody hit my potion. Well, they gotta hit that one, right? <laughs> Somebody's gotta hit some of this. Oh, wow, that was bad. Oh, but Oxide might've hit it because he is, he is frozen in place. I don't know what happened. Maybe he got disconnected. So far though, keeping up real well. Oh, not bad. Okay, just to make sure, since this is the last lap, that nobody else takes that. Because I don't think too many people do. For whatever reason, they don't really take that corner cut. But I think it's a good one. And look at that, so two wins and two second places. Pretty nice, I'm happy with it. <laughs> we got Ryan over right at the end. But still, very good race. Glad to get another one. Let's see how many Wampa coins we get for that. Zoom! Excuse me. <laughs> That's weird. Um, yeah, we're still waiting for the race to end. Be a very fantastic episode. I'm happy with how hastily we went through these races and we're able to get some good results from it. Yeah, nobody went under the, over where that nitro is. I think it's a really good spot to take, but I guess people don't agree. Anyways, there it is. So we are gonna go ahead and see how many Wampa Fruit we get for that. We don't get much nitro. That's fine. 170 Wampa Fruit, not too bad. Let's head back to the pit stop. Okay, so rolling over to the pit stop. What do we got going on here? Um, first off, we have a Yaya Panda bundle. Of course, I already have Yaya Panda, but I might as well get anything, anything that's Grand Prix exclusive, I try to get. So there we go, we got the sweet pistachio uh, wheels and paint and the jelly people uh, sticker. And same thing with the uh, Roller Roo bundle. Looks like it would just be the sprinkled caramel wheels, sprinkled caramel uh, paint, that's what it's called. <laughs> and also the chicken, chicken presenters bundle with the lemon cream, uh, paint and wheels. I don't know how I feel about that. It looks, I guess it's just really love and cream. So I guess uh, we'll get that. And anything else? This is not uh, Grand Prix specific, so I don't want to worry about that too much. This uh, Arctic Nash is. All right, that's pretty cool. He's all ready for the winner, but oh no, he's falling over. Poor guy. Uh, Monster PJ Baby Crash. I like it. Go ahead and get that. And anything else, we've got the Wildberry Dream Color paint job. Yeah, I'm about out of coins here. And then we have the Wildberry Dream wheels. And wait, no, not that. Anything else here, Nitro specific, or not Nitro, but uh, Grand Prix specific, doesn't look like it. So I can worry about the rest of it later on. Um, for right now though, looks like that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.